Hello, my name is Andrew Stone. I'm a game development officer with the NRL in Papua New Guinea and this is my story. Oh yeah, back at my place, Toka, it's, uh, it's one of the notorious places. Uh, in my childhood time, that place was rough. I see boys coming with stolen vehicle, police shooting, and my, my neighbors dying. I grew up seeing those things. Uh, my dad was a, a trainer for the local clubs. He used to take me to go and watch. Inside me, my desire is to become one of the rugby league players. Uh, I played, but unfortunately, I dislocated my shoulder and uh, fractured my knee. So I still wanted to be involved in rugby league. I mean, now I'm the game development officer. Uh, I go to schools. We go out there, we play a bit of rugby league, basic stuff about rugby league. Then after that, we talk about key messages like uh, the importance of respect and education. League Belong Life is a program uh, that's designed to uh, deliver educational outcomes using rugby league related activities and personalities within the game. We have six sessions, so we have six weeks in the school. Before you won't see just 15 of them, now you'll see 25 in the classroom. Because we always talk about the importance of education. Come to school every day. You want to be somebody, in the future you have to come to school every day. We have a team in, in four regions, and they, those teams are made up of two development officers and a lead development officer. For them to be better at their jobs here, they needed to see um, how an Australian development officer delivered. Uh, they needed to uh, see what the NRL, which is the best rugby league organisation in the world, look like. What the standards of behaviour, what the standards of work habits and work ethics were like. Yeah, so we, we sent three of our staff under the Australia Awards Fellowship Program. Um, it was a great opportunity for them to experience Australian standards in the NRL. It broadens my mind and gave me the confidence to say I can go back now to uh, my community, country. The development of that confidence uh, gave them not only personal self-confidence, but confidence to do their jobs a lot better. He sees himself as Andrew, who's part of the NRL, who has this responsibility in this really good development program to, to get kids back to school and get kids changing their own personal behaviour for the better. I always encourage them to listen to their parents, and come to school every day, and look after themselves and listen to their teachers. We've got some really good behaviour change in terms of respect and we've got some good documentation of teachers saying that you know girls and boys weren't playing together never used to talk to each other but because of your messaging on respect and inclusiveness now they they play sport together at, at recess they sit together have a chat these type of things i'll just get them involved and make them feel like they're part of us too. Andrew is taking that back into his community. The area is sort of renowned for criminal activities and, and kids getting involved in criminal activities. Andrew has formed a team there which participates in a rugby, a rugby league competition. He coaches and trains them, but he also imparts uh, having a community life and service back to the community is important. The first thing I did was I gathered all the boys up I started a, a team called Mixed Dogs. Mixed Dogs is a mix, we are mixed boys. And dogs, uh, if you go to Toka, there's plenty of dogs there. So we call it Mixed Dogs. <laughs> and the first, first game we played, they really smashed us. And <laughs> the first time to play, and they told me that we quit. We can't play. I said, no, don't quit. Don't give up. Uh, today we are doing a community service program. It's part of our mixed talks program where we get the boys uh, cleaning up the community. I think Andrew is doing a fine job. He's uh, mobilizing the youths, especially the boys on the field. Uh, it has changed the mindset, especially of the young ones. Most of them have been into alcohol, drugs. Now that they've been involved in sport, mostly Andrew has been motivating them to respect themselves first. 
respect others and respect the community. We won the grand final two years ago. The new ones coming up. So every, every year new ones, new boys coming in. New boys coming in. Re new recruits from the streets. From the, now I'm going outside from other suburbs and bringing them in. And some of them are all changed. I'm just, I'm just targeting the rough ones, those who can't work, those who are lost. So I'm targeting those ones and bringing them in, opening the door for them and saying, this is the way, this is the way.